hi ladies welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to attempt to answer one of the questions i received from you guys on my instagram poll and the question basically was how i bleached my hair and then was able to go back to black after bleaching my hair and how did i actually avoid my hair breaking further so i firstly want to say that bleaching your hair is a really tedious process or it's a process that really needs a lot of patience from you and secondly um i really like doing my color on my own or because i really would i like to see the process of how my my hair changes color from being black to blonde and also i know if i mess it up it's my fault and i don't have to blame somebody else so let's get right into it so firstly um what i would normally do before attempting to bleach my hair there's three steps i normally follow and the one is that i would um deep condition my hair for seven days straight meaning that every day i would deep condition my hair so that my hair is more moisturized and it will be able to withstand the bleach or the chemical that i'm putting onto my hair the second um step i would not normally do is that i would put on a hair mask and the hair mask i normally put on from say five to ten days meaning that i would put on this hair mask hair mask for 30 minutes every day for a maximum of 10 days before you bleach your hair because the hair mask is really good it puts some oil back into your hair and once you apply the chemical your hair it won't break that easily the hair mask i like using is the one from hair by sheena i'll put the details down in the description box and if you guys like you guys can always contact them for a hair mask the third the third step would obviously be a leave-in conditioner this is before you actually do the bleaching meaning that after you deep condition your hair you would go further and put on a leave-in conditioner into your hair and then style your hair as you want to i just want to say again the bleaching process is a really patient process you cannot rush bleaching your hair especially if your hair is really dark um so for example i bleached my hair four times before i um got my desired result but even after bleaching it for four times i was not even happy but i i guess that's just a perfectionist in me because i needed a particular platinum blonde and my hair was just not getting there fast enough but anyways I got a lot of compliments when I bleached my hair and afterwards I really after taking a few pictures and seeing how it looks like it really made me feel happy that I did the process on my own. So um I want to explain to you I want to take you through the process of how I bleached it. So firstly what I did is I used the bleach that I basically used is the bleach from I normally get it from this game or clicks and then it's a it's you can also find it at like selected pharmacies meaning that it's the the new hair brand I hope I got that right but it's the new hair brand um I guess it's not a very strong bleach because I normally don't see it being used in a salon but I think they don't make it that strong so that you don't break off all your hair while you're doing it at home because basically that's an at home bleach you can use but you have if your hair is on the darker side you have to bleach your hair more than once with that type of bleach so i used that bleach on my hair and i used it four times um it comes with a little content i'm so sorry that i don't have a, a sample to, to show you but it normally comes with the bleaching powder it comes with a developer with some gloves and then a mixing spoon um you find everything in the box um what I would do with that is I would apply the bleach and then wait for it to uh, the recommended time on the box is um, 30 to 40 minutes and that's what I used. I didn't go longer because I was afraid my hair would get damaged. Then I would wash out the bleach and after that I would then basically um, put a deep conditioner back in my hair. And uh, what I did was I slept with the deep, deep conditioner because um, I need to put the moisture back 
that the bleach had taken out of my hair and make sure that if I style it the next day that it has the right amount of moisture. I also stayed away from heat the very next day. I never applied heat to my hair because the moment you apply heat, it also dries out your hair and your hair can break off. Another thing I never used was shampoos that contain sulfate because that's very dangerous. Shampoos already make your hair dry if you use them. So by you using shampoo on bleached hair, it dries it out and breaks it off. So normally what I would do is I would use baking soda to um, wash my hair during my bleaching process and not necessarily use any type of strong um, um, shampoo while my hair is being bleached. And normally what I d did was I waited say 10 days between each bleach because it's very dangerous for you to bleach exactly or say after the just the next day or three or four days afterwards because you need your t you need time for your hair to rest the third thing i did after bleaching was um i know that you guys are probably going to think i'm crazy but i read that some way that you can use apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar really helps restore moisture and it locks in moisture in your hair and it helps with split ends and just the general health of your hair so what i did was i took two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and three tablespoons of water i mixed it in a spray bottle and then i would spray this all over my hair leave it on for 15 minutes but just remember the smell is not pleasant but it really works and i guess that if you really want your hair to look really healthy after a bleach you you can do this a step uh, more than one time um the second thing is if you really are not comfortable with or the last or final thing is if you're really not comfortable in doing your own color i recommend that you do it at a salon because there you would find people that actually know how to color your hair and they would not damage your hair but if you're a diy person like i am i think it's best for you to probably try a few strands and you know my process was not like the first time i bleached my hair was platinum blonde i had to go through a rigorous process of bleaching numerous times so if you if you do that don't bleach don't go to platinum blonde on the first dye or coloring. I, I suggest you do it once or twice. Look at the color, see if the color is what you would like, and then you go further. The second thing is, um, or the final thing is, um, I decided like I was blonde for like six months. And then I think I just got tired of the color because I was really used to having black hair. And what the process that I followed from going to blonde from blonde sorry to black was the fact that i basically um followed the same process i deep conditioned i used hair masks i made sure that um there was enough oil always in my hair before i go back to being to dye to coloring my hair black because remember the black dye is also a chemical so you have to make sure that your hair is really moisturized before you put on the black dye and that's what i did and as you can see i'm still black my hair is still black so um this won't change or this hasn't changed until i become tired and want to be on it and want to have another color so i hope that this video had answered the question that i was that was posed to me um if you have any further questions you're welcome to dm me you're welcome to ask me questions in the description or in the comments section below um, I'm so grateful that you guys watched this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like or give it a thumbs up. And please follow me on Instagram. My handle is jamie8288. Um, and please watch out for my next video. Bye.